Barely three weeks after Black Wednesday, John Major faced the party at the annual conference in Brighton. The crisis had dealt a terrible blow to the Conservatives' reputation. Brothers, you come on the of the economy? Ten months earlier, John Major had been hailed by his party for his skill in negotiating the Maastricht Treaty on the future of the European Union and getting Britain key opt-outs. But now, many party activists had had enough of all things European. 1992 uh, party conference was unlike any party conference I'd been to before or since. It was firstly within just a few months of winning a general election. Yet from the attitude, we might never have won it. We might even have lost it. There was no uh, post-election uh, feeling of euphoria, though everyone had thought we would lose. The issue was Europe, 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 Europe. Two days into the conference, Norman Tebbit, the Thatcher loyalist and former party chairman, made a speech from the floor in which he lambasted John Major's European party's devastating attack. And I hope, Prime Minister, that you will stand by your Chancellor. After all, it wasn't Norman Lamont's decision to enter the ERM. I was astonished at Norman's speech. He, of all people, as a former party chairman, knew exactly what he was doing by making that speech in that manner at that time. It was immensely damaging. And he spoke in absolutely demonic mode. And it was a total parody of the policy that he knew we had. Do you want to be citizens of a European Union? No! I sat there and I thought to myself, you were party chairman. How would you have reacted? if one of your predecessors as party chairman had come to the party conference and attacked your policy in this way, in this fashion, knowing as you do that you were misrepresenting it in the way that you were. Well, um, I can't say whether anyone else would have thought uh, my speech was demonic. Um, those who were there at the party conference, the, the party faithful, um, clearly felt that it was a speech which was pitched at just the right level. Uh, I'm sorry I had to do it in the way that I did, but he didn't take any notice of me when I did it in private. Are you being Are you being Lady Thatcher, newly ennobled, also used the opportunity to unleash a broadside against John Major's European policy. In an article in the European newspaper, written to coincide with her own triumphal entry to the conference, she accused John Major of damaging Britain's constitutional freedom by signing up to the Maastricht Treaty. It was, in the view of one commentator, a double-barreled gun shot blast at an already open wound. This combination of an ex-Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, and a former party chairman, Norman Tebbit, was, of course, lethal. It was quite unprecedented in modern-day politics. And it inflamed the debate and it carried it forward. It encouraged people to pitch in on either side of the debate. Their subsequent opposition to the government on European policy was absolutely relentless. It went on and on. It wasn't just a short-term opposition. It was continuous right up to the next general election. And, of course, divisions like this in any party have a very profound effect. And it had a very profound effect on us. We lost very heavily the 1997 election.